I'm very lucky today to be able to play this beautiful little bar, which was made by uh, Matthias and Augustinus Kaiser, uh, who lived in Dusseldorf at the beginning of the 18th century. We don't know much about them, but we think they might have been brothers and they probably had a workshop together. Um, this vial is really, really beautiful. You can see that it has this kind of alternating dark, light wood purfling all the way around the edges. And that's carried on into the tailpiece. It's also on the very bottom, which is really amazing. Uh, along here, and then the back as well. So I think that the tailpiece, fingerboards, and, and neck aren't original. They were made by Andrew Dipper, but this is original. And you can see that it's had a bit of aging on it compared to some of the other bits. Apparently the pegs are also original, which is very exciting. Um, it's got a simple rose here and for me, this feels like quite a distinctive red varnish that I'm, I'm not used to seeing uh, on vials so much, but it's very, very beautiful. Um, it's a lovely instrument to play because it's got a very open sound, but it's also got a warmth uh, to the tone color, which is just really lovely. I'm going to play an excerpt from a solo piece written by Johannes Schenk from his collection called The Echo of the Danube. Johannes Schenk was a virtuoso viol player who was from Amsterdam, but in 1696 he moved to Dusseldorf where the Kaiser brothers were based, and it's very possible that he even played this instrument at some point. <laughs> 